let D be the triangular domain with vertices at zero comma zero, one comma two, and four comma zero. Uh, compute integral of the function 3xy solution. Let's first try to draw this triangular origin. Here's 0, 0, 1, 2, and then 4, 0. That's the triangular domain. Over this domain, the question is asking you to compute 3xy. Um, so, in order to compute this, you have to change this dA into either dx times dy or dy times dx. And then uh, you have to think about which one to use. Should you paint upwards or should you paint rightwards? Upwards. Okay. Uh, is there a reason for preferring right to upward? If you try to paint upward, what happens? You have two integral, one for the left one and one for the right one. But if you try to paint rightwards, you just have a single integral. Okay? So that, that's easier. <coughs> All right, so let's try to integrate rightwards. But I, I have a feeling that the upwards is not that bad at all. So uh, the, the only problem with doing it upwards is that you, you end up with two integrals, but maybe that those two integrals are not, not too bad. Okay, so uh, if you want to practice a little bit uh, to deepen your understanding, try to do the same question going upwards. Okay? We'll only do it rightwards here. OK, so first of all, what's the equation of this line? Well, this is going up by 2 and going right by 1, right? So using rise over 1, what's the slope of this line? Correct. Yeah, this is slope is 2, therefore the equation of this is y equals to 2x. Now for this one, uh, starting from here, you go down by 2 and you run 3. So rise over run is negative 2 over 3. The slope of this is y equals to negative 2 over 3, uh, x. And then we don't know the, the y-intercept, let's just put it as b. And then uh, from the fact that it has to pass through 4 comma 0, we can put 4 here and 0 here. 0 equals to negative 2 over 3 times 4 plus b. So b is equals to 8 over 3. So we have the equation. We found out that this should be 8 over 3. But we're trying to represent this as integration of dx dy, right? So if dx is inside, I need everything to be x equal to. So what should we do? We have to solve both of these equations for x. Okay. Let's do that. So this one's easy. You just divide by 2, so you get x equals to 1 half y. This one you have to first uh, multiply by 3, so you get 3y equals to negative 2x plus 8. And then subtract 8, 3y minus 8 is equal to negative 2x, and then divide by negative 2, so you get x equals to negative 3 over 2y plus 4, because uh, negative 8 divided by negative 2 is positive 4. Okay, so those are the two bounds. And because we start from this and we end there, we start from this curve and we end there. So we're almost done. Therefore, if I write this integral explicitly, we're trying to integrate 3xy, and I want, we pick dx dy. 
What should I put here? One half y. One half y. Because we start from this curve, and the equation for this curve is one half y. Right? What do I put on the top? Negative three over two y. Negative three over two y. And then for y value from where to where? Zero to two. Zero to two. Because the lowest value for y is zero, highest value is two. Okay. All right, so let's do the integral. Three can come out, so it's three. Uh, oh, let's just integrate. Uh, integrating x gives you one half x squared, so it's three over two x squared y. And we're plugging in <laughs> negative three over two y plus four, one half y. dx of dy. Should we change the value so we put a negative in the front? Because I feel like it, but, uh, What do you mean? Um, I don't know, I'm just like weird out with, with, with a negative in the front side. So it's okay. Oh. I mean, if you insist, we can rewrite this as uh, negative 3 over 2y with negative and then minus 4. But that doesn't really do much. Okay. Yeah. All right. So now we have to plug this in here. Uh, I should have chosen the numbers better, but if you square this, what do you get? Squaring the first, you get 9 over 4y squared. Squaring the second, you get 16. But then there's the cross term, which is twice of the product of these two, right? So you get minus 12y just from this. So that's what you get if you plug this in here. Uh, let's put the, put the 3 over 2 outside. And then minus, if I plug this in here, it's uh, just 1 fourth y squared. Because uh, 1 half squared is 1, one fourth. Okay. So we have 9 over 4 y cubed minus one fourth y cubed. I'm going to put them together because they, they are like terms. And then minus 12y squared and plus 16y. Okay, 9 minus 1 is 8. 8 over 4 is 2. 2y cubed. If you differ, integrate 2y cubed, what do you get? That's a uh, y cubed into base to 1 fourth, so it's 1 half y squared minus 4 y cubed plus 8 y squared. And you're plugging in 2 and 0. Right. Oh, sorry, this is fourth. So 2 to the fourth is 16 divided by 2 is 8. Uh, 8 times 4. 32. Four, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 8 is plus 32. Times 3 over 2. These two cancel. And then the answer is 4. I, I kind of went fast at the end because that's uh, very elementary. It's something we can all do, I believe. Uh, but what's really important is this beginning part. You have to know how to set up this integral, even if the description of the domain is given geometry.